Well, hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I know some of us have been having a hard time with the cladogram, so I'm going to make a cladogram for you inside this fun little program where you can draw and stuff, and hopefully it doesn't look totally terrible. But like I said before, to start the cladogram, you got to look up the classification. So I'm going to do our species, Homo sapiens. Look at that and all its scrawled goodness. Mm. So first thing you need to do, you got to look up the classification, which I did right here. So I've got kingdom phylum. Don't worry about subphyla, infraclass, and other stuff like that. Just focus on the main ones, right? Genus, species, family, order, etc., etc., etc. Then after that, I just started looking up some cladograms. Now for humans, it's kind of easy because you can just be like, hey, give me human cladogram. You'll find some really good stuff. So here's a pretty decent one. I looked up uh, hominidae. Now this right here, this is for our family, as you can see. That's hominidae. So we got the uh, the family. It's called primates, so you can see there's a few other primates thrown in here. But for the most part, this is all the the hominid family. That's all the stuff that's pretty similar to us. You know, so you got gorillas, some other stuff in there. Here's a nice cartoony one I found. You can see uh, you have old world monkeys and new world monkeys and other kinds of monkeys, but here's us, humans and chimpanzees, hanging out right there in the middle. Can zoom these in, make them real big and ridiculous. Right, here's another pretty good one showing uh, an ancient mammalia, and this is showing us another with a whole bunch of different primates, and this one looks like it's going down to the species level. And it's kind of nice because it's got like a different like interrelatedness, like how much of our DNA is different. Um, this one you can see here, we got hominidae. Again, that's our family. So we took the one of our family that shows that branch, and this piece here would fit right down in here against that one. And it's pretty important to have that in there. Here's a really nice one off Wikimedia, which is the branch of Wikipedia. And you can see you've got stuff in here like cat, dog, bear, weasel, seal. That is not an animal. That is the group that has all of those in it. Down here you have the humans, but you can see you have this inner nested going all the way back out to farther and farther levels. And here's one that just shows all the mammals in general. So these are like the cladograms that you'd want to collect first just so you can draw the thing. So I'm going to pause for a second switch uh, angles and then see if I can make my own cladogram for you guys. Hmm, I wonder. Uh, some of these, you know, you might not know, but you can do, you look at your classification and say, okay, give me the mammals. I just Googled mammal cladogram. And I got this. And you know that we're in primates, so you can do primate cladogram and that'll give you this. And you know the family, because you've got it over here. There's a you know, there's a primates or order, you know, the family, hominidae. So you just search for hominidae cladograms, gave me all these other ones. So uh, just by searching for different cladograms as you go down through your stair step will make your life a lot easier. Right, so that uh, didn't really work so well because smart board is more like evil board. So here I photoshopped together all my things, and well, here they are. So you see, uh, it's really just the one, the second, and the third cladogram made uh, from those ones that I Google searched. And we can zoom in here, so you can see here's all the different mammals. You can see how they're all clated out. And I don't expect this number, this level of detail. I mean, really, everything beyond this branch here, you know, this, you get this branch, and this whole group over here on the side, that can all be closed down and just that can be one just line of these things whatever these things are over here it looks like uh, yeah not these things anyway so you know th this branch can be this one would need expanded so we can see the primates but this one over here what is this leave me alone this one over here doesn't need to be dealt with and then you can see the primates, and we just move up, and we see the whole group of all the primates. Again, all this area over here does not need to be expanded. It could just be adapted, just, you know, these things. These ones need to get expanded so we can see hominidae. And then here's the expansion of the hominidae all the way down to uh, here would be the human-type things. So, you know, that's roughly in way more detail than what you would need but there's still that same level of putting those multiple cladograms together.
Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope this helps.